Daniel Thomas, Andrew Daly here. This is a video for the Advancing No Movement for the Car Right No Hide community. This is on Holiness Comes Through Bible Study. It's not really easy to repent of your own strength. It's not terribly easy. It's not terribly easy to find better moral standards of your own strength. There's, there's something in the, the New Testament which says the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak. And it shows how that how we, we might want to be so dedicated to the Lord and achieve glory for for him and to be really great servants of God, but um, we find our, ourselves befuddled with our own human frailties and our own weaknesses and temptations. And um, that's a true saying, the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak. We do, and we can show devotion to God at times. And we can be very sincere at times, and sometimes we can fall astray and even blaspheme his name and really be angry with him and really be mad. And we can fall into other sins as well. And I'm prone to them as well, believe me. But um, while, while the flesh is weak, the spirit can be willing. You need to take that devotion, even if it's small, even if it's tiny and insignificant, whatever you have towards God, and turn it to the, the Rainbow Torah for no hides, and uh, for Karite no hides, well, yes, the rest of the Hebrew Bible, and for the Advancing No Movement, I recommend my own scripture writings as well, my own r religious writings as well, the Rainbow Bibles and things. But for, for no hides, um, Karite no hides, the Rainbow Torah, Genesis 1, 1 to 11, 9. That's the primacy of the scripture. The more you turn to the Rainbow Torah, the spirit becomes stronger. The more of the scriptures you read, the spirit becomes stronger, and gradually the holy, the holy become, and the more able you are to resist sinful temptations and weaknesses and carnal desire. God has taught me this a number of times in the last few months. He says that to me, he speaks from my, my voice, and he says, you know, you can't really do it of your own strength terribly easily at all. You can put in an effort at times, but it, it can fade away, you know, because it's just hard to maintain, you know, the, the kind of devotion that you might want. Even if it's small, it can be hard to maintain a religious lifestyle of your own strength. Something you can do if you can just find a little bit of inclination is read a chapter of scripture. Genesis 1 on, on the creation in seven days or Genesis 2 on the creation of Adam and Eve or whatever from the Rainbow Torah, Genesis 9, the giving of the Noahide Covenant, passages you can read of your own strength, and the more of them that you build up and find the discipline to read them, the better your spirituality and the quality of morality in your life and the holiness in your life, the better it becomes and the better it improves. Holiness comes through Bible study. You can't save yourself. But God expects you to save yourself through things you can do. And when you do that work, His Spirit impregnates that stuff into your nature. It comes into your psyche, into your soul, into your spirit, into your being. And you become a better person. It's the thing you can do. Repentance becomes a bit easier. Praising God with a, a genuine heart becomes a bit, bit easier. And becoming a better moral person, it becomes easier. And one of the hot overall points, ultimately in the end, is in fact prosperity and wealth. You're supposed to prosper in this life if you can achieve that. But it's also to be a better person for society, better person for your family, better person for your f workplace, better person for your schoolmates, a better pay person for the world. To be a better person, to be a caring person, a decent person, a loving person, a moral person, a holy person, a lawful person. Holiness comes through ongoing Bible study.